are we alone in the universe? I doubt it. You doubt it. Oh, you doubt it. Okay. Why do? What? What are your doubts based on? Well, I'm. Uh, so now, is it okay if I now go into a little bit of detail? Yes, anything. Okay. Anything. Whatever makes your mind say, I doubt it. So maybe I should say another. Uh, um, so when you say what do you do, so. I said molecular astrophysics, maybe I should use it a little bit more easy to that. So, so I'm a professor of astrochemistry at the University of Leiden. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So I'm a professor of astrochemistry at the University of Leiden in the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. um, so as an astrochemist, I actually study what molecules are available in the sites at which new stars and new planets like our Earth are born. Mm -hmm. um, I look at water um, and I look at complex organic molecules that could form the basis for prebiotic molecules. Okay. And one of the things that we've learned, actually, through a generation of telescopes getting more and more powerful, uh, most recently is the ALMA telescope, is that um, basically around every forming star uh, we have quite a lot of water available and also complex organic molecules. So the ingredients for life are everywhere. So basically, that's my conclusion. The ingredients for life, the building blocks for life, are available around every forming star. Astrobiology is are, a lot of people are enthusiastic about it because it's kind of like developing a Genesis story for how we got here. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like the scientific version of Genesis. Now, do, is that important for a human being? I, some human beings. Do you think that's important for you to find out how you got here, personally? Uh well, I, th I think everybody, including myself, wants to know what his or her place is in the universe. I mean, if we stop asking those questions, I doubt that we are sort of, it's part of, of what we are. I mean, our uh, inquisitiveness of, of, of knowing where we come from and what our place is in the universe. So, so I think, yes, uh, it is an important question to answer. But you, I agree, of course, no, with you, and you agree with yourself, but quite a few people are not astrobiologists, and right. they're not that interested in the question. Well, when, 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 I, when I go and give a public talk for the, the general public, which I do quite often, then I find that a lot of people are interested in actually in their, in, a, lot in their of, a lot of people are interested yes, in the question. Yes, there are, but the probably majority don't care. Uh, I think you just need to look up on a clear sky, and you have plenty of clear skies here in Australia, actually, to look up to, and you can't help us wonder. You know, what our place is, this tiny little rock there in the, in the vast universe. <laughs> so answering the question, how did we get here, you think is an important question? Uh, yes, definitely. In terms of, you know, having aliens that you could ask questions indeed as to their vision as to how we came about, I think that would be fascinating. Yeah. So, so more advanced? Do you think there's any, there's any meaning to this word more advanced than we are? Mm -hmm. I don't think that we are the most advanced life form possible. That's very well, if that's, if that's true, then in the galaxy there's a more advanced civilization. And if that's true, they should have colonized the galaxy because they had plenty of time, and there that raises the Fermi paradox. Well, Where is everybody? everybody? So do you have any favorite solutions to the Fermi paradox? Or no. do, you th do you think it is a paradox? Um, not necessarily, if you also take into account the, the time scale over which that civilization is basically uh, um, at its peak. <laughs> so you think all civilizations kill themselves? Uh, unfortunately, I think that a lot of... <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait that, a lot doesn't work. A lot won't ch <laughs> solve the paradox. It has to be no, no, the fans, yes. <laughs> so I'm not going to buy the a lot. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Well, there definitely, <laughs> there definitely is a tendency for civilizations to um, be. Uh, there's definitely a tendency for a civilization to have a destructive streak as well. Let's put it like that. Oh, I think we all agree on <laughs> that. that. The, what we disagree on is, wait a minute, you have to have all of them self-destruct in order to solve of the, the paradox. paradox. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. so, or, do you think that's the case? I don't know. I don't know. That's so you have no solution. Don't you have a I favorite solution? No, no, I don't have a favorite solution. All right. <laughs>